minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path, an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying GOES-S will reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Roll program is complete. The speed chamber pressures are rolling off as expected. At 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Max, max, max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Booster has throttled up as expected. You are also hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good and plateaued. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed about a second and a half later an by burnout. other boosters. And we have indication of SRB burnout. Booster engine continues to perform well. Approximately 10 seconds to SRB jettison. And with indication of four solid jettison, looks like a clean separation. And a clean separation being reported of the solid rocket boosters. Vehicle we are two minutes, four seconds in The next major milestone, three minutes, 30 seconds into flight, the payload fairing protecting GOES-S during its flight through the atmosphere will be jettisoned three and a half minutes after launch. Booster has throttled down as expected upon the RCS pyro valve activation. We have the RCS pyro valve activation at this point. System is pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Three minutes into the flight. And booster has throttled back to two and a half G's. Preparation for payload for jettison. Ten seconds away from payload fairing jettison. Up on payload fairing jettison momentarily. And we have good payload fringe separation and CFR jettison. And we have a good payload fairing jettison, exposing GOES-S to space for the first time.